Hello and welcome! Today I'm gonna fly mission 5 of the Grand Slam campaign. The story is that there are a number of injured soldiers out there and three LZs have been established, 1, 2 and 3. Um, and we already know where those LZs are, so we're gonna get our helicopter ready, uh, try to find those LZs out there on the map, and we'll get the people from the LZs to a hospital that's also been established in a town close by. Winter's gotten stronger and a lot more gusty. Get her ready, clock's ticking. So the challenge in this mission is gonna be that, well, there's a lot of wind um, that's always hard to deal with, and the LZ is gonna be quite tight, and of course the navigation, hampered by the wind, we actually gotta find the LZs first. Okay, just having another look. First level D is gonna be at 188 2 miles. So, considering with negative variation, that means I have to fly 181 degrees on the compass. So, I'm gonna put my marker just there, and that should set me up towards first level D. Berlin, U51, Pet 3. U51, Berlin, no traffic. U-51, no traffic. Ready when you are. Wind is 220, 30 knots. Alright, so we're already pointing towards 220. Just a quick hover check. Yeah, that's not that easy in the high wind. And off we go. Okay, just pointing the nose to where I put the marker, that's 181 over there, so yeah, two miles, that's gotta be in that village just ahead. Okay, now just trying to actually make a course for that point that I just saw, uh, despite the wind pushing me away. There's the smoke. Not the biggest LZ, but we'll fit. Okay, gonna do a quick fly over the LZ, check it out, see what I can see before I actually commit to it and do a run in. And of course, yeah, I'm not gonna land uh, with a crosswind, especially on high winds like this. And we're looking down, there seems to be a lot of space. Uh, okay, no, the smoke's coming from the other side of the trees, so there's a vehicle. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna fly in, stay on the left side of the smoke, and then there should be a nice big area. Angles are right, but of course there are big trees in the way now. Perfect. And 
Looking outside the window, I could swear I'm doing below 60 knots, but looking at the speedometer, yeah, no, I'm, I'm way quicker than I should be right now, so a little bit of braking, and still need to clear those trees. Over the trees and over the building and just a little to the left. A little to the left. It's so twitchy in those winds. And I'm still a bit worried about vortex swing state. I mean, 30 knots over the rotor should keep me clear of the vortex, but... Alright, there's a vehicle. It's so twitchy. Alright. Come on, get down without going too far to the right. And... Okay, that's way more slope than I thought it would be. Yeah, that wasn't the best landing, and that bit of sliding there in the slope really had me worried that I would be getting too close to something. Now I just need to take care on takeoff, that I'm giving it a bit of left stick, so that I'm actually pressing my left skid into the ground, so I'm taking off kind of horizontally. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but They're first in. of all, they need to finish all clear. Go, go, go. The hospital is almost directly east of here. Alright, here goes nothing. Nice and vertical. Yeah, almost vertical. There we go. Sliding a bit to the left, and finally we go vertical. Over the trees, and to the west. Now I could see on the map that the hospital is just in the next village over that hill, so I'm not going to be super precise. I'm just going to fly around the hill, and then I bet I can already see the village. They're all green hills, for fuck's sake. But, okay, there's the green smoke. And... Oh yeah, there's a single helipad next to the green smoke. So, same as with the LZ. Passing over it, just checking it out. That's all clear. And then I'm gonna approach... Okay, yeah, the smoke's to the right of the helipad, so I'm again gonna stay left of the smoke. I know it looks so bad, but it's just so deceiving. Usually I do approach it at like 10 knots, maybe less, maybe a little more, but I mean that's normal wind, you know, 10 knots. And now with 30 knots, everything you know, you know, I'm looking out the window and I'm thinking I gotta be almost hovering, but then I look at the airspeed indicator and it's well above 30. So uh, yeah, this, this is just constantly overcorrecting. <laughs> for a minute. The medics are unloading. Haha, <laughs> okay, you know the wind is strong when you've already touched down and then the wind just picks you up again and puts it like a meter backwards. Yeah, okay, I'm on the ground. Um, I gotta correct for that next time I touch down. Medics got him. Take off back to the west, LZ2. Alright, LZ2 was the closest one to the hospital, hospital is marked as well, and there's our course, 274 tree miles, okay, 274 is the true course, magnetic course, would be 
267. So again, I'm gonna put my course in like shaking a lot. I'm gonna put my course in 267. And then again, I'm just gonna follow that. But hey, it's the village that I just came from. So basically, I'm just gonna fly around the hill again to find the village again. And it's gonna be a little east of the spot that I already know. Tally-ho, there's the smoke. Oh, come on, is that what they call an LZ? I can't even see an LZ yet, it's just a row of trees. Alright, same procedures every year. Flying over, checking it out, and then turning in for a proper approach. Alright, doesn't look too bad. Again, gonna stay left of the smoke, just gonna clear the building and the single tree. And then I should be all set on a nice big field. Yeah, okay, this judge came out a little too far on the right for this one. Gotta correct to the left. And I gotta stay high enough to actually clear those trees in the first place. There we go, clear view of a nice LZ, and the gap between the trees and the single trees is even bigger than I thought. Alright, this should be pretty standard. Nice. Down and we're loading. Alright, give him a minute. Yeah, this went a lot better, and with all the wind coming from the front, you can go down a lot, a lot steeper. So, alright, let's make it three. They're in. Go, go, go. Back to the hospital. I already know the helipad, so I'm not gonna do an overfly, I'm just gonna go directly into the approach, and there we are. It's so deceiving, just gotta get used to it.
while we wait for the medics to unload. Next one's gonna be a bit further away. 263, 5 miles. Alright, All right, so I'm going 263, that means I leave the other village on the right, and 263 true course means magnetic course of 256, just adjusting the pipper. Okay, they're and done, we're clear, let's go. Let's go. This time I'm actually going to properly use the compass again, but there's no point getting a position fix right now because I well can't see very far ahead. So first of all I'm going to crest this hill, and once I can see a little further, I'm going to straighten her out and get a fix. There we are. Okay. Just pointing the nose at the point on the compass where I actually want to fly at. And yeah, that corresponds pretty much with that hilltop over there. So that's where I'm gonna go. Make it to normal flight. And straighten her out so I'm actually traveling over the ground towards that hilltop. Okay, so the LD was going to be in the southern part of that village and directly in the direction I'm flying is the southern part of the village so yeah, the LZ got to be somewhere between those buildings over there. Looks big enough, just gotta get over that building and then land directly left of that smoke. Piece of cake. Again, setting up too far to the right, gotta get to the left of the smoke. For a project like this, I'm just gonna be directly inside the smoke on final. Oh, 
over the building and oh shit I think that's the lamppost right where we wanted to touch down okay breaking and I'm just gonna put it down here okay oh that's a lot more sloped than I thought a lot more sloped okay I'm just gonna get closer to that vehicle and try to put her down on the slope anyway left skid down and whoa drifting okay, downhill it's going to be one Four wounded on oh, shit. Once T tree. Yeah, I should have probably aborted that, gone around, and gone in for another touchdown. But it is what it is, and <laughs> now I'm down on the slope. That was the last one. We're clear. Go, go, go. At least takeoff went a bit smoother. And I already know where I gotta go. Over that hilltop, and from the hilltop I should already see the other hilltop right next to the hospital. go final approach to that hospital helipad and uh, with the deceiving wind around it keep your fingers crossed Relax. That was all we could do. Medic's gonna take care of them. We're just gonna wait here for a little bit, and then we're gonna head back to building. Hey, that one was smoothest one yet. Okay, building is the last one. That is. Tree all gone. Zero. Okay. In so your own time. Compass, take us back to building. Tree zero tree. Um, but I'm pretty sure once I get around that hill, I should already see building down in the plane with the big antenna. around the hill and I can already see the big antenna down there so I just made it gonna make a beeline for it maybe a bit to the right so I get a proper approach to the wind Good 
Namen Berlin. U51 Request Permission to Land. Guten Abend, U51. Wind 220 and 30 knots. Clear to land, band 4. U51 Clear to land, 4. Perfect. We're clear to land, making our final approach of the day. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this mission and this video. Um, like I said, this mission is mission 5 of the Grenzland campaign. Um, episode 1, that is. And the next 5 missions of the campaign are going to be released later this year. Two of them are already finished. Of course, as in the first 5 missions, there are a lot of voice lines to record from a lot of people. So it always takes a while. If you want to check out the campaign, there's going to be a link in the description. And as well, if you're having any trouble with navigation and how to find your way around the map, um, I'm also going to put a link down in the description for a basic navigation tutorial. And if you have any suggestions or ideas about what you want to see and play in transport helicopter missions, be sure to let me know. Uh, now I'm going to leave you with that final approach and the helicopter shining down. Till next time. Okay, Rookie. Well done. Shut it down.